Alright, so you want to know how to rendezvous and dock in Kerbal Space Program. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a vessel that's going to go up into orbit. Got a docking port that can actually dock with other vessels. And uh, going to attach some monopropellant tanks there. I'm going to slow this down and down here in the bottom left hand corner is our center of mass overlay. Going to toggle that to on. Going to get a four-way RCS block thruster. Set radial symmetry to four and then put four of those on right in the center of mass. And then we'll just carry on finishing off doing the uh, booster stages of our rocket. I'm sure you know how to build a rocket that can actually get into orbit if you're wondering how to do rendezvous. Oh, and I've just noticed I've misspelled rendezvous there. Rendezvous, LKO, rendezvous. Never mind. There's our first stage booster, the main saw. Well, those engines are pretty powerful, so I'm going to put the thrust down a little bit. The plan here is to send up Valentina on her own in one launch, and then we're going to do a second launch with Jebediah and Bill. I'm going to rendezvous with Valentina, and then I'm going to transfer Bill over. So here's our launch. Pretty standard. I'm sure you know how to do this. If you don't, there are other tutorial videos for that. I'm going to go up, put our apparatus at about 100,000, and then stabilize our orbit. There goes the fairing. Use the maneuver node, circularize our orbit. 100, 101, doesn't have to be exact. There you go, just doing our circularization burn. Put the uh, solar panels up there so Valentina's electric fan heater doesn't run out of juice and she doesn't freeze to death. And then we're going to go into the tracking station and I'm going to time warp forward a bit because to be honest when you're doing a rendezvous you, you don't want the ship you're rendezvousing with to be on the other side of the planet that you're launching from. And now we're going to launch Jebediah and Bill up there. But before we do that, I'm going to go into the map view pressing R1 and L1 together. And I'm going to set Valentina as a target. And up go Jebediah and Bill on their way to meet Valentina. I'm just checking their apparatus there. I'm going to go up to about 100,000 and win. The blue line meets the yellow line, two little orange arrows are going to appear. And that lets me know that currently our trajectory is going to cross with Valentina's trajectory. There you go, there's her position. There's our position when we actually get up there. But not going to worry about that for the time being. Because first we actually have to circularize our orbit to make sure we don't fall back down. I'm just going to push the periapsis up there to lower than 100,000 or go to about 96, 98,000. And uh, there's a reason why I'm doing that. Just time warp up to my maneuver here. There you go. Do that burn quick. Oh, nearly forgot to dump the second stage there. That would have made things a lot more difficult. Then we're going to go back into the tracking station. I'm just going to time warp here and just want to show you why I've put our periapsis lower than Valentina's. As we make our way around, we are slowly but surely gaining ground on her. We are catching up to her and that's because our orbit is technically just a little bit shorter than Valentina's and that's why we're catching up. Right, now before we set up our rendezvous, we're going to have to make sure our orbits are actually in the same inclination. And that's what those little green arrows show you. Sending node and descending node. So currently 0.4, what you want to do is make a maneuver node on that green arrow. And then using normal, anti-normal, the pink ones. Go up or down and then get that to read 0.0. .0. That means your orbits are on the same plane. It increases your chances of a successful rendezvous. There's Valentina there, quite far away from us at the moment. 
And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to set up a maneuver node on our apoapsis to push our periapsis out to the 100,000. So you see those orange markers there and those purple ones. The orange ones refer to the first point where your orbits cross paths. The purple one refer to the second one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the add orbit minus orbit function. That's that blue button there with the plus sign. And you're going to see the orange and pink arrows move. Okay, that's closer. Oh, no, that's too much. We're going to go back one orbit. And then I'm going to play with the prograde retrograde markers and the radio in and radial out and just do a bit of trial and error moving those, trying to get these arrows closer together. Ideally, you want them to get to like 0, 0, 0 0.1. You know what, those purple ones, those are on the dark side of the planet, so I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to move over to the orange ones, try and get those closer. Oh, well, there you go. Look, 0, 0.0 exactly. It won't be exactly. We're not going to collide into it. We'll probably be about 100 meters away. And uh, that maneuver there is about an hour away, so we're going to go into the tracking station, time warp closer. We'll go to about a minute before the burn, and then I'll go back to the ship to actually perform the burn. Alright, so back with Jebediah and Bill. Alright, so now this is important. If you've tried rendezvousing before and you failed, this is probably where you went wrong. The nav ball in the bottom left corner there, with the, uh, well, it's the ball of the blue and orange, that has three different modes. Surface, orbit, and the one we're going to be using for rendezvous target mode. Now, when you're actually attempting to rendezvous with your target, you want to be in target mode. If you try doing it in orbit mode, this isn't going to work. So make sure your nav ball is in target mode. So again, make sure you're in target mode on the nav ball. And then go retrograde. The speedometer in target mode, what it shows you is the difference in speed between you and the target object. So burning retrograde in target mode will get you to match speeds. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to wait until we get closer. We're going to time warp ahead a little bit. And what you want to do is, whilst you're pointing retrograde here in target mode, is wait until the ship gets roughly parallel with you and then slowly reduce your speed down to zero. This can be an agonizing wait. Go down to 1.5. There's Valentina, just getting closer and closer. Gonna wait until she's about parallel with us before we get that speed on the uh, nav ball to read 0.0. .0. And what we're also doing here, whilst in target mode burning retrograde, is it's the computer is going to try and get our orbital trajectory to match the target's orbital trajectory as much as it possibly can. Now that we're at 0.0, .0 we're going to point towards our target using the nav ball SES computer. The target one's the bottom, very bottom left one. Going to burn up a little bit, go up to about two meters. No, whatever. We'll go 2.5 meters, and then once that burn's done, we're going to straight away point retrograde again. Again, make sure you're in target mode for this and as we get closer we're going to slow ourselves down bearing in mind the uh, the thrust from the exhaust of one engine can affect any nearby objects so we're going to do this very very lightly very gently get ourselves down to 0, 0.0 again so technically we have rendezvoused but as i said at the beginning i want a dot so i'm going to put the cursor over the target docking port press square and then say set as target so i'm going to take us out of staging mode in the bottom left corner there that's the green one with the rocket we're going to go into docking mode the gray with the white circle. And then using the right trigger, we're going to thrust up a little bit using the uh, four-way RCS block. And then as we approach, we're going to slow down using the left trigger. One thing I should mention here is um, I used the SAS nav ball to point towards the target as I started my burn. Once my burn towards the clock target was finished, I came off of target and went back into just a normal stable mode. And the reason for this is when you're pointing at the target, as they're moving rel relative to you, the direction your vessel's pointing in is going to move as well, which is going to mess up your approach. As soon as your burn towards the target is finished, come off of target in the bottom left, and then go up to the top left, just to make sure your lateral burns are actually relative to each other. I'm just going to rotate here, just line ourselves up. We're drifting slightly to the left, so I'm going to burn to the right a little bit using the RCS thrusters. Try and line ourselves up as best as we can. Point towards target again.
I'm off of target. Now I can tell we're not quite lined up right, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to try and reposition ourselves, go down a bit, up a little bit. Check, do I need to go left or right anymore? We've probably drifted, yeah, we drifted a little bit to the right, so go back left a little bit. Point back at target. Go down a little bit again, this is really frustrating, but there you go. And we are docked. Now all that's left to do is transfer bill over from one command module to the other. There you go, Valentina's now got a new crew member with her. Yee. The undock, press square on one of the uh, docking ports. If undock doesn't appear on one, then try the other one. And we're just going to move ourselves apart. Point retrograde whilst in orbit mode. Nav balls in orbit mode there. And then we're just going to deorbit. How we normally do. Here come Valentina and Bill. Returning from what was really a pointless mission, just to show you how to rendezvous and how to dock. Hopefully, you got something out of that. It's my first tutorial video, so it's not going to be very good. Probably missed a bunch of things. But there you go, splash down. And that's how you rendezvous and dock in Kerbal Space Program.